Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. We are going to turn in the quests that I worked on last time the for the female for bandits here. My thanks, friend. We fed the Cyclops, the pet Cyclops, uh, pet of the leader of these female bandits here. We fed it a goblin last time after <laughs> a lot of effort in wandering around, point? failing to find the goblins that were very nearby. Well, I'll pass word on to Lady Opus. She'll be pleased to hear of it, no doubt. May I help you find aught in common as friends to beast kind both. I've learned what to do with this quest. So we turn in that quest. Let's see, there's a ladder up somewhere. Ah, there it is. So we're helping the female bandits here. We already helped the male bandits and got a... Oh, I forget exactly what it's called. A, some sort of badge, a token, an item that we got from Maul, leader of the male bandits. Um... We're going to get something similar here from Ophis, leader of the female bandits. Maybe. I can find her. She is here somewhere. I should probably just follow the stupid red circle on my map, because that usually is a good indicator of where they're at. Take care, you don't fall. There we go. Just took her a moment to pop into existence there. One of my girls tells me you fed my cyclops. She said the creature took to you warmly. For true, I thought I might be the only one he suffered gladly. But you too, huh? I like it. I like you. From this day on, your family. If you ever have need of us, come and see me. We'll do all we can. Yay! We get the badge from Ophis. So there's one last side quest that I want to do before... Before we proceed with the story quest stuff. Aha! Search party. Find traces of Raynard's father. So I accidentally picked up this quest. Uh, can we... It should show us where... Okay, well, either way, we need to ferry stone back to... Probably Grand Soren. Oh, so I accidentally, I was talking to Reynard trying to figure out how to get this quest from here, his third and final quest to help him. Uh, and when I was talking to him, at one point I went to go buy stuff from him and it apparently triggered the quest on accident. So I apologize for that. We missed the opening for what he asked us to do. Um, his father was some sort of adventurer and he wants us to traverse the land looking for clues, hints, journal pages, something, anything that might indicate what his father has been up to. He didn't really say much more beyond that, but uh, his father is actually the one who's been leaving these journal entries around. We've collected a bunch of them. Um, we kind of were picking them up out of order earlier, but now I believe we have all of them. So these are the journal entries, and I'm, I am going to go through all of them here in just a moment. Let me... Oops, not what draw. I'm just drawing. Pause it. Let me drop off some junk here because I have a lot of crap that I don't need to be carrying around. This will free up a lot of weight. There's also some, uh, like some equipment. So that's the fourth journal entry. We have Mauls and Ophis's badges. Drop that off. Uh, drop off the silver vest. Drop off the creepy underwear that we picked up. Which is a little weird when we're looting people's equipment, their chests, their treasure, and uh, we end up with underwear, but, you know, video games. Uh, you don't need to be carrying around pumpkins. That's silly. That's a lot of weight. Uh, right, you're just going to have to deal with heavy weight. So I believe, yeah, I believe we have all of them, and it just told me to deliver these to Reynard, so that does indicate that we have all of them. I'm going to go ahead and go through here and uh, just look at all these real quick, and we're going to read these. Um, they're, they're very brief. We've read the first couple already, but I'm going to go through all of them. They all have the same g generic description, I believe, or pretty damn close. So, here we go. Um, Tis with heavy hearts I leave hearth and home behind, but vengeance must be dealt. The beast what struck the village and stole away my dear Alicia will die by my hand. Word of the beast led me to this cave. A week's searching has seen ancient treasure unearthed. But I have, or what use have I for baubles? Is only vengeance for my 
daughter I seek. Okay, so Alicia is his daughter. My travels now span three borders, and I have seen many a pious man. Alas, where men's gods differ, there is no brotherhood in worship. Distrust is a heathen's portion. North winds blow ice into my very bones, and I am left to warm my breast with fond memories of home, of wife and daughter and the son whose face I've yet to see. Interesting. So it sounds like his daughter was killed by a creature. He went seeking vengeance, and he's never actually met his son, who's Reynard. Interesting. I found it. The Hydra's Nest. Oh, so he was after a Hydra. That's kind of cool. I'm the foul pit whence the beast what raised our village came. I am to send it to a different home. A place of fire and blood. My journey ends. But it doesn't end because you have another journal entry. I am bled and ill and far from home. And death is near. My Laura, whom I've abandoned. Alicia, whom I've now twice failed. Reynard, my son. Forgive me. So it sounds like he actually failed to defeat the Hydra. That's unfortunate. Um, and also unfortunate is the, the hassle we're going to have to go through to find Reynard. Because he does travel around a lot. I'm going to rest. What will it be today? Have your pick. In your life. What will it uh, we're gonna, be? We're, we are going to rest. I was starting to second guess myself. We are going to rest. Unfortunately, when it comes to Reynard, he doesn't show up until like 10 a.m. He's on like a... Like a college kid schedule or something he shows up later in the day um so i don't necessarily know pardon me there um, i don't necessarily know where he's going to show up uh, he could be in one of any of several different places like four or five different locations across the map um but it's gonna it's gonna be a while before he shows up so that is unfortunate i really want to complete this quest because we can only do this quest right now. Once we actually go take on the leader of salvation, we can no longer work on this quest. So that is unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Maul's badge, the badge of amity that he gave us, we can turn that in for another notice board quest. Uh, first, however... I don't know exactly what it does. Maybe it makes the bandits less hostile towards us or they don't attack us on sight or something. I don't know. But either way, I am loath to turn in a quest item like that just when I only have one or when I can only get one. So I don't think there's going to be much issue with me actually cloning this thing. So I'm going to try to clone it if I can find it here and all my stuff. Yeah, so Maul, Maul's badge. And it only costs 7,000 and some change to clone, so that's not bad. Um, it's going to take 24 hours, so we're going to have to wait before we can come back and actually pick that up. Uh, but that's okay. I'm in no rush to complete these missions here. These are kind of long-term missions. Not kind of long-term missions. They're definitely long-term missions. Absolutely. Um... Speaking of which, we can run over here and see if there are any new ones. I don't believe we've done anything to trigger new ones. Yeah, we haven't. So I'm not sure what to do to pass the time until Reynard shows up. I think I'm going to pop outside here and run around and maybe try to get the Griffin to show up. That'll be a potentially an interesting fight, and it will eat up a little bit of time. But that's assuming I even can get the freaking griffin to show up. It's usually to the west here. I actually should have gone out the other door, not this one. Also, hang on. Is he showing up on the map somewhere? He is. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, so he is showing up in the encampment, or the a quest circle is pointing towards the encampment. So maybe I just needed to leave the area. Never mind. Apologies, everyone. No griffin hunt for you. We're going to run over here and talk to Reynard, though, real quick. There are a few other quest lines that I could potentially be able to do right now. Uh, if I hadn't screwed things up at the very, very beginning of the game. So there's a... Oh, man, I believe there's a set of quests for Madeline, the shopkeeper. Uh, I 
think there's some stuff for her, but again, I screwed hers up earlier. Uh, we needed to have done her escort quest. And I never did that. And you only have a, a very specific um, period of time in which you can do her escort quest. And if you don't do it, which I did not, then it closes off a lot of her follow-up quests. And then the other one is Kina. When we first, way back, like 100 million years ago, we fought the Cyclops here just outside of the encampment. Um, we were told that Kina had disappeared. She was missing. Okay, so it looks like Reynard's not here yet. This is the area where he would show up, so that is a shame. Um, if we had found Kina, if we'd gone looking for her and found her, we would have been able to complete her quest. But again, I forgot about that, and I missed the opportunity, and so we missed out on, like, a whole series of quests for Kina, including a quest that would let us get into the second area, the, like the back half of the Witchwood, which is now closed off to us forever, which is very unfortunate. But, uh, you know, such is life. Say la vie. Um, you know, if you, viewer, have any interest in playing this game, you can not screw up so grievously and, uh, you know, go see these quests and things on your own. Um, so it looks like Reynard is going to show up in the encampment, but he's not there yet. So... I don't know if there's any other side quests and things that we can work on. I'm gonna flip through these real quick. Ambush, Leaden Globe, 30 Saurians, Male Bandits, King Bailey's. We could do... King Bailey's, we're not ever going to be able to get. They're in the second half of the Witchwoods. So that's a shame. Stout Undead, Sour Ambrosial Meat, Golems, Undead Warriors, All the Things at Knife, King Bayleaf, Badges of Vows, Maul's Badge of Amity. There we go. Tetley Folded Letter. No idea where that is. Two Metal Golems, Three Gargoyles, Deny Salvation. We're going to be doing that soon. Ten Geosaurians. No idea what or where those are. We haven't even encountered those yet. Um... I am gonna go kill some Saurians real quick towards that quest. And see if that will eat up enough time. Apologies, everyone. I know this can't be terribly entertaining. Um... I... I am going to go take on Salvation as soon as I'm done dealing with Reynard. I absolutely promise that. That is next on my to-do list. Unfortunately, we're just not quite there yet. I am, uh, I don't know, maybe just a tad OCD. Very much a completionist. I really see no reason to abandon free experience and free money and free plot when I have the opportunity to get all those things. Grand Saurian. So yes, for now, Saurians. A fine castle, huh? And these should be very, very easy for us to deal with at our current level. I mean, we can take down the Chimeras and whatnot very quickly, so Saurians should be a joke. Uh, Saurians, in case you forget, other than being these lizard people who can spit, like, poison and whatnot, um, their... their defense drops tremendously when they lose their tails, like, if you can knock their tails off. So they're very, very easy to kill if you can manage to hit their tails. Fish eye stones, those are rare. Those are the only things I really care about picking up. Um, Saurian scales and poison sacks and whatnot. Poison, the Saurian tails, which can be picked up. Hoping my party will grab these. That would be fantastic. The only real reason I keep these pawns around is to pick crap up for me. 
and also maybe help with combat a little bit too or something like that. Uh, let's see. Oop. Can I not shoot through the water or is it just screwing up my aim? Uh, okay, so I can just kill these guys without even knocking their tails off. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, if I don't script the timing on this attack. Oh man, that is quite satisfying, being able to snipe enemies from that far away. Um, I'm going to head over here and see if they dropped anything interesting. Again, I don't really care. Mostly just trying to eat up some time. That's okay. We'll check over here. Oh, that's another dead Saurian. Okay. Um, a bit of progress. Also, there's a door over here. I don't know if we've ever gone in or out of it or shown it off. Storage shed. Battle Greaves? That's an interesting piece of armor that we have not encountered prior to this. Huh. Okay, just a little treasure chest in there. It's not bad. Oh, there's a grate there. That grate is a back entrance into the catacombs. I believe this is the one that we came out a million years ago. Um, that'll take us into the catacombs where we've been dealing with salvation and hunting for badges of vows and that sort of thing. Um, again, trying to kill a little bit of time before Reynard shows up, since I don't know... I don't know if there's any good way to actually track time that has passed. Uh, as my pawns called out, there is a griffin in the sky. Yeah, there it is. Uh, it should... There it is. I was going to say, it should come down and attack us as a group. Nope. So if we could, like, light it on fire... Uh... Like, it, it, specifically its wings. If we can do enough damage to its wings or light its wings on fire, it'll fall. But also its head. Its head is a weak spot, as my pawns will occasionally call out. Let's... Picked up a few, like, reminisce shrooms and mushrooms and stuff in the past, so I'm gonna consume a bunch of these. Get all my stamina back. Cool, and it looks like Slave poisoned it. They might run off, or maybe he's going to try to attack. Oh boy! Uh, like eat some oxen for uh, stamina recovery or something. I don't know. Harpy. What the crap are these harpies doing here? Screwed up the timing on that. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the problem with Griffins. Oh, maybe he's coming back? I'm pretty sure I recall Griffins, like, occasionally when they get wounded, just flying off and not bothering to show up. Like, not bothering to stick around for the fight. Also, he's attacking all these oxen, so I think he's trying to, like, he fly away? There he is. I think he's trying to eat the oxen and recover a little bit. And I would rather he does not do that, so let's punch him in the face a couple times. He's tossing me around. He's not giving me much chance to do damage here. And he's also draining my stamina like crazy. But 
He's also not able to fly away when I'm hanging from him like this. So hopefully, hopefully, my party will assist with combat here a little bit and help me drop this thing to the ground. Jeez, we're draining all my stamina like crazy holding on to this stupid thing. There we go, knocked us to the ground. That's fantastic. Can we beat on its head a little bit here? Yeah, so if we're if we're good, we can just keep it pinned on the ground here by punching it in the face repeatedly. Awesome. Holy moly, is that ambrosial meat? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nope, Lucy, you do not get ambrosial meat. It's way too rare to give to a pawn. This looks interesting. The animals of the field Great Griffin Claw. Will you get out of the way, you stupid pawns? Running can leave Griffin Pinion. Okay. Alright, that's all there is. Now let's try going back to the encampment and see if Reynard is there. That's always fun. I... <laughs> You've probably heard me say this a billion times, but uh, I really like fighting the bigger, nastier monsters in this game. I think those fights are a lot of fun. Pretty interesting. And we have many, many, many more big, nasty creatures coming up. Alright. So there is the encampment. This is just a nice, short little sprint between Cassardus and the encampment here. Don't need to worry about fighting goblins or wolves or anything nasty here. Goblins can show up from time to time, but they're very easy to just run past. And hopefully, 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 Reynard is here. There he is. Hold this... These letters, they are written in my father's hand. I see. Spread out over all the land, were they? I cannot fathom the trouble you bore to find this. I am at a loss for words, sir. And yet, it seems my father is well and truly dead after all. Please do not worry yourself on this. Simply finding aught of him is a treasure to me. I shall read this anon. Perhaps I may finally learn the cause behind his travels. Now. Let us talk of business. Cool. Does he have anything interesting to sell us? Doesn't now, look like let it. Us talk of enhance. I think all of my equipment is as enhanced as it can get right now. Yeah, now, there's not really anything that we can do right now. Okay, that's cool. Oh, cutscene. In any case, the finest patron deserves the Oh yes, much like reward. the quests with Valmiro Please, and with Mercedes and many of the other compliments. important In named truth, NPCs. I warrant this will be my final transaction. He's going to leave. With the mystery of my father resolved, He's now essentially gone from the game. Wander the land any longer. Make her guide your steps until our paths cross again. And, uh, Eleanor, the Duchess, also, we helped her with her quest, and she left the, the country. So, kind of a theme. I don't know if you've sensed that. Pretty fantastic. Okay. I am going to drop off a bunch of stuff. I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'm going to drop off a bunch of crap, and then next time we are going after the Elysian, the leader of salvation. We are progressing the story forward. We're going to just march through the next few quests. So um, thank you for joining me, everyone. Apologies, this video is a bit shorter than usual, but uh, next time, the next one's going to be good, I promise. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will see you there.